my grandma Shaw, she had an old camera from the turn of the century, a Kodak camera. And my mom took it after she died. And then I had it. And I sort of thought it was pretty cool. But after mom and dad died, I was tasked with moving everything out of their, our family home to sell it. And I sold the camera for 20 bucks to a friend of mine. And I looked for some pictures on the web. I found a picture on Etsy of it. And it said it was a rare find and they wanted $200 for it. So I have the pictures and I have the negatives. It shot large negatives. I believe I might have put a roll of film in it and shot with it. This is Grandma's camera. I had a picture of one like it and I remember it. It was in decent shape when I had it. And sold it to my acquaintance. I found these pictures on the web. Six sixteen Kodak. I remember the little viewfinder up on the top left. This is a picture of a unknown fellow. Might have been at a ski resort. This is mom's or grandma's camera and my mom and her friend were out somewhere. Helen, Helen Newey. I think, and there's some other pictures of Helen in here, in their old car. Oh, that's one of Mom and my cousin Billy. I don't know if that was Grandma's camera. My mom had Grandma's camera. This is out at my great-great-grandpa Vanderhoof's ranch. Mom was out there riding horses. She was maybe in her 20s. She was born in 1910. There's Aunt Beverly with Billy. Trying to get the camera to focus. By holding my hand up, it focused on my glove, but it won't focus on that negative. It doesn't see it as a object, I guess. And there's the picture. This is somebody on a log truck and their face is missing. One of Grandpa in his tractor it was a pretty old picture. There's Billy again. I like this because of the old car. There's a lot missing in the photo because of an over at 
exposure. I don't know if they knew how to work these cameras. They sort of used them like a point and shoot, which would have been decent if they had it set at F6, F11 or F16. There's Helen, 1927. This one has mom in it, second from the left. And she went to Prosser, Washington, where her aunt lived on the train, and these girls were clowning around. This is out at Prosser. I forget this guy's name. I have the old model T's. This is my Uncle Bob and my Aunt Beverly with my cousin Geraldine out at Vanderhoof Ranch. There's a young one of Helen. I guess Mom knew Helen most of her young life. Helen knew we. I think they made their own clothes a lot of times. They were just white cloth. This is an interesting little postage stamp photo. It sort of reminds me of what they called flappers back in those days. Wanata. There's Helen after she got older. That might be her dad. I don't know who this is or where it is. It's Grandma's scrapbook. My grandma's second from the left with her sister on the left. And the back said, taken by the house, so it taken here by the house. And it wasn't Grandma's house. I forget her sister's name because my memory has issues. That's my Uncle Bob. He was so proud of his uniform. Private First Class Robert Shaw. This picture was in bad shape. I tried to fix it. I think it's Mom and Helen out at Vanderhoof Ranch. Don't know who that is, but I like the building in the back, sort of like a schoolhouse, a huge chimney or something, tower. 
at the Banner of France. The whites seem to wash out if you try and fix them like I did. The clothing gets dirty. I tried to add contrast. This is Grandma's house in Ogden on Kiesel. I went there when after she died and I saw her once there before she died, but she didn't pay me no never mind. She got dementia. That's my uncle, Ernie. He was a, a patrolman in Ogden, and he later was chief of police. And this one looks like a flapper. It's a pretty old picture. Now well, that one might have been taken at a studio. 1928. The handwriting. They used to do handwriting. This one's pretty bad, but it's a ghost like picture. Over a hundred years old. There's Uncle Bob again. He died in the 60s. Was up hunting and he took ropes and mountain climbed. When he was coming down, his rope slipped off. And he fell to his death. This little picture has an old car I liked. Kind of a bell bottom. There's Grandpa's tractor. And it's a very old picture and very little depth of field. He was a farmer. I liked the wooden chair sitting out there. I have my aunt in the center, and she said they just saw that sheep wagon out there and went and took a picture. This is Grandma and her Studebaker, Uncle Jess and his model something for it, and my Grandpa fishing, and a print of the house and the girl in the car. And this was out at Vanderhoof Ranch, my Uncle Jess on the right. Another print of that. Uncle Jess, he drove an ice wagon. The phone number on that side of that ice truck is 5183 numbers. And this was the Anderson family. I got a kick of the brother on the right. He has his hands around his sister's neck. I don't know if it's one of those cameras where you had to hold still and he's holding her still or if he thought it was funny to have his hands around his younger sister's neck. She's 
smiling anyway. It looks like their clothes were all handmade by the mother. And they, they're in Utah, the Wasatch Mountains behind them. Grandma Shaw is four from the left. And again, the whites are washed out in this photo. But it's a hundred year old photo of Grandma when she was younger, which I have found and it was precious to me. And it was taken with that sort of a camera that I'd describe. My Uncle Jess was at a gas station in, a, in his old car. I don't know about being a Ford, I assume it was. 